everybody. Welcome back to another story from the Bible. It's Mrs. Nickel, your Sunday school teacher. This story is a real favorite, David and Goliath. Today, Miss Allison will sing about our story at the end. So listen all the way through and you can sing with her. It even has actions you can do too. David was a shepherd boy who watched his father's sheep at Bethlehem. At times, bears came out. And even lions. They came and tried to steal one of those sheep. David went after them and struck them and rescued the lamb from its mouth. And when it rose up against him, he caught it by its beard and killed it. Wow, David was very brave. One day, David's father asked him to take some food to his brothers who were in the king's army. We're just going to change this so that you can see what it maybe looked like where his brothers were. These brothers were fighting against the king's enemy. They were fighting against the armies of the Philistines. They had a champion and he was very different from the other soldiers. His name was Goliath. He would come out every morning and every evening taunting King Saul's army. Now Goliath was no ordinary man. He was a giant over nine feet tall. That's higher than most ceilings in your house. He'd have to bend over if he walked into your house. He carried a gigantic spear and wore very heavy armor. So when David came to his brothers, who do you think came out from the armies of Philistines? You're right, Goliath. Goliath stood on the mountain across from them, roaring out a challenge to the men of Israel, saying, I defy the armies of Israel this day. Give me a man that we may fight together. When the men of Israel saw the man, they ran from him. They were afraid. So David asked the men that were standing nearby, what is the reward for the man who kills this Philistine? And they answered that the king would give that person great riches and his daughter in marriage as well. Did you hear that? You would get lots of money and marry the princess. David then indicated that he wanted to be the man for the job. So they went and told the king and the king came to David. The king at first did not agree and said, you are too young and inexperienced. Then David said, The Lord who delivered me from the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear will deliver me from the hand of this Philistine. Then the king said to David, Go, and the Lord be with you. Here, wear my armor and use my sword. David said, I cannot go with these, for I have not tested them. Then David took his staff in his hand and he chose five smooth stones from the brook. He put them in his shepherd's pouch. His sling was in his hand and he approached Goliath. Then Goliath moved forward and came near David. When he saw David, he disdained him because David was young and good looking. Then he said to David, am I a dog that you come to me with sticks? Come to me and I will give your flesh to the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. Then David said to Goliath, you come to me with a sword and with a spear and with a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts whom you have defied. 
This day the Lord will deliver you into my hand, and I will strike you down so that all the earth may know that there is a God, and that the Lord saves not with sword and spear. When Goliath came near to meet David, David ran quickly to meet him. David put his hand in his bag and took out a stone and slung it and struck Goliath on his forehead. The stone sank in and he fell to the ground. Because David trusted in God, he won a huge victory for the king and for the people of Israel that day. He was rewarded with the king's riches and even married the princess as well. You can trust in God just as David did and be saved from your sins and enjoy the riches that God has to offer. Now you can sing along with Miss Allison as she sings about David and Goliath. This song has some action, so be sure and do them. I want to hear a very loud clap at the end. Only a boy named David, only a little sling. Only a boy named David, but he could play and sing. Only a boy named David, only a rippling brook. Only a boy named David, but five little stones he took. One little stone went in the sling, and the sling went round and round. One little stone went in the sling, and the sling went round and round. Oh, round and round, round and round, round and round and round. One little stone went through the air, and the giant came tumbling down. I hope you enjoyed that story today about David and Goliath. That's always been a great story and a favorite. I hope you sang that song too. That's a lot of fun to sing too with all the motions. And when Goliath falls down, you clap at the end. Until next time, goodbye.